Yeah, so I just wanted to ask you about, like, Paul, he goes against the Old Testament. No, hold on, my friend. That's the Listen. Oh, don't let me embarrass what? you. Is the topic Paul or is it about Allah, your God? It's about Christianity. No, it's like, not. It's the the let me Islam repeat it again. I know you're illiterate like Muhammad. Listen religion. to me. Is the topic yeah. Paul or is it Allah, your God? It's about Allah. Okay, so why are you trying to change the subject like a coward to Paul who buries Muhammad under his feet? Why don't you stick to the topic? You went to the Old Testament, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show your God, Allah, is Satan, the father of Muhammad, according to the Old Testament. Because you went to the Old Testament, right? Yeah. Okay, sure. according to your Quran, yeah. listen, Surah yeah. Al-Maidah, chapter 5, verse 18, says the Jews and the Christians are not the sons of Allah. That's number one. Chapter 19 of the Quran, Surah al maryam verses 88 to 93, it says that you are a slave and Allah is your Lord, no more, no less. The Old Testament that you're referring to, in Deuteronomy 14, verse 1, it says the Israelites, Bani Israel, are the sons of God. In Deuteronomy 32, verse 6, this is the Old Testament that you're appealing to. It says the God of Moses gave birth, begot the Israelites to be his sons and daughters. And then in Exodus 4.22, God says, Israel's my firstborn son. Your Allah in the Quran says, no one is his son. The Jews are not his sons. But the Old Testament says, Israel is the son of God. God gave birth to the Israelites to be his sons and daughters. That means the Old Testament shows that your God Allah is a fake. Well, well what I would say is the Old, Old Testament is because the Old Testament brought up confusion. That's why you oh, say. But wait, hold on. The child of God. Egan, Egan, hold on. Jesus is the son Egan, of God. listen. So listen. Yeah. Didn't you just say Paul contradicts the Old Testament, and now you just said the Old Testament brings up confusion because it shows that Muhammad is the son of the devil? So how is Jesus the son? Like, what does it don't mean? Don't change Jesus the subject. The Answer God, the question. And, and by the, the way, Israelites are the son of the Egan, God. don't change the subject. Do you agree the Israelites are the sons of God, which your Quran says they are not? That was a statement that, that was like a, do you accept it this the word sons do you you're not an, answering me do you accept it yeah the quran contradicts contradict, say it the words. quran contradicts yeah. it you agree then the quran contradicts the old testament right it took away the term sons okay. because the sons can use be used so what was your problem way? with paul because you said paul goes against the old testament and you just admit the quran goes against the old testament so what's your problem well jesus in the bible said I'm not here to change any anything in the uh, in the Old Testament. And you know I'm that you just proved the Quran is a lie, right? Moses. You just again proved yeah. your Quran is a lie because in chapter three of the Quran, verse fifty, Surah Al Imran, it says that Jesus confirmed the Torah and made lawful halal what was haram. So if you're saying my Bible says Jesus didn't change the Torah, then your prophet Muhammad is a liar because your prophet said Jesus came and changed many things because he made many things lawful that was haram. So are you saying the Quran is a lie and your prophet is a liar? I'm not here to... Uh, no, 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 you are here. No, no, you're here to defend Allah. Islam doesn't make Christianity the true you, religion. You are here to defend Allah. Do you agree now Muhammad is a lying son of Satan because he said Jesus came to change things that were forbidden, but you just said my Bible said Jesus didn't change anything. So this, was Muhammad a liar? Was he lying? Uh, he wasn't lying. No. So then why are you quoting then, my Muhammad Bible, which contradicts the Quran, showing that Muhammad is a liar? Why are you quoting it? I'm just saying, don't you get... Uh, you're saying nothing. Dissidents following this Bible? No, you have, you're saying nothing, because like, you don't know my Bible, you don't even know your Quran. But I'm going to give you a final example from the Old Testament. Final one, then I'm going to have to send you on your merry way. In Deuteronomy 24, verses 1 to 4, it says, If a man divorces a woman, and she marries someone else, and that second husband dies or divorces her, the first husband cannot take her back. He cannot marry her again because this is something disgusting to God. But in your Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 230, it says when a man divorces a woman, he cannot take her back until she marries another man and he divorces her. That's why in Islam, that man is called Muhallil, the one who makes the woman lawful to go back to her husband. So Durrani says this is disgusting, this is filthy, this is wicked, what your God Allah said a man can do. So now do you again say Muhammad is disgusting and your God Allah is disgusting for doing something that the Old Testament says is disgusting to do? He doesn't No, Islam is more like Judaism than Christianity. I just gave you so Judaism, no Old Testament. Difference. You're not listening again. Old Testament, God yeah. said, if a man divorces a woman, she marries, and that second husband divorces her or dies, 
She can't go back to your to first husband. But your Allah said in chapter 2 of the Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah 2, 230, it says that if I divorce a woman, I can't take her back until she marries someone and that someone sleeps with her and divorces her. So the Quran says that the only way I can take my wife back if she marries and divorces and the God of Moses, the Old Testament Judaism says that's disgusting. So it says your God is disgusting and Muhammad is disgusting. So do you agree Muhammad is disgusting? He's a son of the devil. No, that's... So then stop using my Old Testament. Bye-bye.